Hey, Wibbling fans, it's Pablo here from Wibbling's Pablo, and in this video, we're going to go first to talk about... Oh, wow, I think it's because I'm a little bit early, that's why this location is a bit empty. To start off the day, I'm going to get some Mexican pizzas. Hello, I already ordered at the kiosk. Si, sí, está bien. Si, sí, gracias. We are waiting. Gracias. I have here the Mexican pizzas that we're going to be eating, and then we're going to go to the flea market of San Jose, California. Let's see how it looks. Very good. Building fans, it's Pablo here from Building with Pablo, and right now I'm headed to the flea market of San Jose, California, the U.S., to see if I can find something that has to do with Lego. Here in the back I found some selection of Lego such as these minifigures right here which there seems to be of one of every theme that Lego has done over the years. Below that there are also some exclusive sets such as this one right here which is a football themed set and a snow themed set as well. Behind me, there are LEGO sets that are being sold, such as this one, which is from LEGO Creator. Some vehicles right here. This one looks very cool because it's in micro scale. Here's a LEGO Friends set and another from LEGO Classic. These are minifigures, as you can see, being displayed. I'm going to be taking the monster truck because it's only being sold for $10. I purchased this set because it was only being sold for $10, which is less than other stores that are selling this product as well. So I'm going to be uploading a video about this very soon. I'm in front of another stand in this flea market that also sells Lego. 
such as these minifigures right here. Here they have some figures from Lego Friends. On this side they have some sets from Jurassic World. Here they have a Lego Creator 3 in 1 set. In this display they have several vehicles. As you can see right now I'm approximating myself to the food stands in this flea market. I'm going to look for some traditional Mexican uh, snacks such as nuts or um, fruit, stuff like that. So let's see what we can find. I got some avocados because they're at four for five dollars. Behind me, there is a stand that sells nuts such as peanuts and spicy fruit. So I'm thinking that we're going to buy something from here. This is all of the variety that they have. Disculpe, ¿a cuánto salen esos mangos enchilados de allá? Sí, por favor. Oh, sí, gracias. Here they have the peanuts for two pounds for five dollars, so I'm thinking of buying some. Si, sí, está bien. Si, sí, gracias. Here I have this bag of Lego that I purchased in my last visit to the flea market of San Jose, California. Um, there's lots of Lego right here. There's some that is used and some that is new, such as this one right here, which is a Lego Creator 3 in 1 set of a robot, which can transform into different things using the same pieces that are included in the set. And behind that, there is also a LEGO City Volcanic Exploration set, which is a theme that LEGO did in the past, as I said earlier. I also have here some loose LEGO pieces as well. I don't have the LEGO that was in this bag available to show you, because I did put all of this LEGO right away into my LEGO collection that is already organized. However, I do have the footage of how I managed to clean these Lego pieces because they can be dirty so it's important to clean them before um, inserting them into your Lego collection. So I'm going to be showing you how I wash them. First we have to have all of the pieces in a bag of course. Then get a bucket or a container that you have. Empty all of the pieces into this container. Insert soap all around the Lego pieces. Insert water into the bucket until it fills up to the top. And believe me, this can take a while, so it's important to have patience. If the pieces are too dirty, you can use a brush to scrub them well. The results are that the water should make bubbles with the soap. Now that the pieces have rested in the water, we can empty the water carefully. You should get a bag or something else to empty all of the pieces. We are going to let all of the pieces to dry with the sun. And these are all of the loose pieces that I got from the flea market of San Jose, California. This concludes our visit to the flea market of San Jose, California. What I bought was this Lego set because it was in a discount price and some traditional Mexican snacks. This was it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, keep building.